Queen's Gambit declined, Tartico were defense, 8.b2bb79.bxf6bxf610.cxd5x511.b4c612.00. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered Black in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. As it occupies space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn, and aids in maintaining control of the e4 square. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This kicks an opposing bishop. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. The light squared bishop is ready to be fianchetto to b7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. This exchange is fair. It is a fair deal after all captures. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Very precise. It is best. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a bishop. It is excellent. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This misses a chance to center a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. This poses a material threat. It is ideal. This causes material loss. It is a mistake. This wins material. This is the only good move. It is a great move. While not the greatest course of action, this is an intriguing alternative. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. From a prior move, recaptures. It is ideal. This exposes a pawn attack. It is ideal. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This wins a queen. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. 